What is up, Taurus? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. So happy to have all my Taurus buds here with me. We are going to do a tarot love spread for you for the month of September, but really, you know, energy does not have a fixed start or stop date. So take messages as they resonate, release what doesn't. Uh, sometimes messages will take a few days, a few weeks, even a few months to resonate. So if later down the line they do, fantastic. That means it was your message. Um, but never force anything to fit your circumstance or scenario. These are messages that are general general underscore um that means not everything will resonate with you so um yeah keep that in mind as we go through that being said i hope lots of this resonates with you we'll see what we can get for taurus and love everything you'll need to know will be in that description box below including the decks i'm using as well as my social media channels check those out i'm the intuitive teacup on facebook and instagram hope to see you there um, what else do you need to know <clears throat> check your sun moon rising and venus sign if you would like additional messages and as always, check out the, the other videos I posted. You guys have a September monthly. You have a career and finance spread up. You have a love spread from kind of last month. Um, so yeah, uh, messages are all still relevant. So check those out if you're interested. We're going to hop in for you, Taurus. I've rambled enough for Taurus and love. Taurus and love. Taurus and love. <clears throat> Bottom of your deck is um, Nine of Swords. Ouch. Something's giving you anxiety. Regret, fear, loss, anticipation of something. Those jumped out as I was clarifying. The Ten of Swords. Good Lord, Taurus. All right. So releasing of a burden of some cycle potentially. Well, here's your card. It could potentially be with another Taurus or some sort of financial difficulty or strain something or potentially waiting for communication from someone who was selfish with their time and their energy who didn't who didn't communicate with you and ultimately it's like spirit is asking you to get back on your broomstick and, and fly fly away the cycle is done something about there was an ending and yet it's it's causing you more anxiety and even depression and sorrow than anything else so yeah King of Cups, follow your heart to something else. It's time to spread your wings and move on. Yeah, ouch, good Lord. Uh, Seven of Swords energy, liar, cheater, thief energy. Someone who broke your heart and was selfish. That's what I'm getting here. That was sort of a very uh, specific message. I don't know if that's what this, it, uh, this story is going to be. So that may have just gone out to someone who needed to hear it. Wow, High Priestess. She has come out in every love reading I've done so far. It's about going within and listening to our intuition. Um, a lot of my Tauruses out there have, have been ignoring their inner guidance system. Something you know to be true within, even if the facts, the figures, the data, the details, what people are saying doesn't match up with what you're feeling. When you have the High Priestess and the King of Cups, this is saying you know the truth. Listen to your heart. If something doesn't seem right, it's because it's not. Interesting. I'm going to keep High Priestess as your bottom of the deck because that's what it truly was, but we'll keep this in mind as we go through. Um, again, that message at the beginning may have been very specific. For someone, you may have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who, who yeah, like hit, hit it and quit it is sort of what I'm getting. And it left you with tremendous emotional baggage, but mental baggage more than anything. They may have taken something from you with that thief card, taken your, um, ooh, I, I just heard taking your virginity or your innocence, taking something away from you that you feel you can't get back. Um, it, it could just be taking your heart, right? Taking advantage of you in some way, taking your money, taking your generosity and your kindness for granted and then fleeing the scene. Ouch. Ouch, Taurus. All right, let's see what these messages are. Let's, let's see what we can get. So your energy coming into the month, it can only get better, right? Because all, all the rough cards were there. The world, hey, I like seeing that. Doors are starting to open again. Windows are starting to open. That expression, when, when God closes a door, he opens a window, you just found it. That's your energy coming into this month of September because, yeah, clearly if that resonates, a lot of you are getting over something very, very severe, um, something that was just a strain on your mental health. It's like all of a sudden you've seen the light. You've, you've acknowledged the inner voice of what it was guiding you towards this whole time. And it's like you've opened up a world of possibilities. You're closing out an old chapter. And that's why that Ten of Swords came up. You're done with it. You're leaving it behind. You're closing out an old chapter and welcoming in the new. Look at her. She's like, yes, Taurus, come. Come along. But it's beautiful. There's light. There's warmth. 
there's familiarity here. Some of you may be going back to visit with family or friends from the past that you haven't seen in a long time. People who have been the foundation of your world, if that makes sense. Um, potentially Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or, um, or yourself. I mean Taurus, but uh, who am I missing? Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Is that what I didn't say? And Aquarius. One or, or multiple people of, of those zodiac signs. Yeah, that's pretty significant. <clears throat> Ace of Wands, I like that. So that's the grounding energy of discovering this new world. You're taking action. You're no longer just sitting there and, and taking it. You're no longer just sitting there in sorrow, wishing and hoping and praying for some sort of change or healing to come. You're going out and you're fighting for it. Wands, you're exerting action to, to take your world back whatever was stolen from you i'm almost getting this metaphorically you're taking it back they may have taken your money but it's it's something like i don't it's like protecting what is yours it's your energy they may have taken this but at least i have this uh, they may have done this but i'll always be this it, it, i hope i hope you guys understand what i'm saying there you're recognizing that your power doesn't rest in the tangible object or thing that they took from you your power is like almighty. Your power is like on another level than this person. I'm just getting this person was like a lech. And I'm sorry, no shade, especially to the cross watchers. But yeah, this person was like a, 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 an energy vampire, a, um, a time suck, an energy suck. And, I, and I'm, something about a trickster, they came off as very charismatic and, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer you the world, right? And then they took it and ran. This is you going after the world yourself. You're not waiting for it to be given to you or handed back to you or returned to you. If you're specifically waiting for something that was taken, I don't know, a watch. I don't know why that just came through. A Maybe like a, a piece of jewelry or a watch that belonged to someone in your family, like a grandparents, that, that maybe they were, they were going to nick it for money or something like that. Yeah, you're, you're no longer waiting for that. That anxiety and fear. With the Ten of Swords, it's like you've dealt with it. It's time to fly. It's time to move on. There, there's something here about believing in justice and karma. Something about the two, the balance of the scales. Um, trusting. Okay, this is important, Taurus. Trusting that the universe will take it from here. It's not your job or your work to show this person the error of their way or teach or like give them a karmic lesson that's not up to you that's up to the world the world is like follow your own path taurus like the world is like go where i'm leading you i'm almost just getting like a breadcrumb trail god spirit universe angels whatever you believe in there's a breadcrumb trail that they are leading you down and it is not in the direction of that person who, who did that to you have faith that there is karmic justice that person whatever lesson that they're they're not currently learning in their life like they're gonna get slapped upside the face um, but it's not gonna be by you because you're moving on you're inspired by new things you're being motivated by new things so for some of you it's a creative or artistic endeavor something involving arts or music or painting writing literature um, you may be reading something that it's like opening up your mind or your perspective. There's great expansion with the world card. Frequently a card of artistic endeavors, I see too. But also a card of closing out cycles. It's like, that was me, that was the old me, that was then, this is now, and this is now as you walking through the doorway. Wow, Taurus, this is like a heavy message, like right out the gate. Wow, so let's see, this, this section I usually read is your person, so this could be this person from your past. For some of you, though, that, that previous story about like this, I don't know if all of you are resonating with that. I feel like that was a very specific message for like one or two of you. So this could be an entirely new person. Again, take what resonates. And this could be someone coming in that you, you haven't even met yet. We'll see. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So that could be a person who stole a great amount of money from you. That's what came out immediately there. Someone who took something from your house. Someone who you feel like invaded your space or your security your safety zone, um, someone who went against the traditions or values that, that you up upheld. 
And some of you are using that as inspiration for your artwork. What an interesting message. It's like you're painting pictures of a thief or I, or I, I, I mean, that's not gonna be exact. Some of you may be, ooh, sorry, did I just turn that off? Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Um, so, crap, what was I saying? So, okay, artistic endeavors involving this person. About theft or taking some, again, the loss of innocence. Some of you are putting that into poetry, into lyrics, into songs writing books or, or publishing an article about it you're put you may be putting this person on blast in some tiny way because as i was saying there's something about the universe doesn't want you to focus on the negative and be be very like vindictive and vengeful of, of this person who did you wrong there are healthier ways to move forward and cope and for some of you it's satisfying enough to to be able to write like i don't know like a little think piece on it and I'm just getting, you're concealing it. You're not necessarily using their real name or exactly what happened, but you're, you're using it as fuel to your fire. Interesting, Taurus. You're using it as fuel to your fire that's motivating you forward in, into a better place, into something that's, that's more aligned with your heart, somewhere where you were destined to go. You might be dealing with another earth sign, though. I said that earlier. Even another Taurus, for some, not for all, Knight of Wands. Okay, well, this is all coming together. The player. The hit it and quit it. I said that earlier, didn't I? The Knight of Wands. God love them. They're charming. They're charming as shit. It's Sagittarian energy. Um, They come in like fire. They draw your eye and there's something very magical. I mean, they have wands, right? There's something very magical and alluring, even intoxicating. Um, they're they're frequently very good looking. They're beautiful. They yeah they there's an intensity about them that you want to believe. You you feel inspired by them, but the fire doesn't last. It burns out quickly. The Knight of Wands moves very fast. Knights are all about change and movement into our life. This person comes and goes. The minute they get bored, the minute they're not having fun, the minute they get distracted by something else or someone else, the minute they see an opportunity potentially to take advantage of your money. And I'm just to be very clear, I'm not hating on Sagittarians or fire signs. This is a lower vibration. I want to be very clear about that. Love me, my Sagittarians, by the way. But Knight of Wands energy, given this story, it makes sense because it is the player of the Zodiac. It's, it's hit it and quit it. It's, it's someone who they're lustful, they're passionate, you know, they're probably great in the bedroom, but when you wake up in the morning, they're probably not gonna be there and they may have taken something of great value, something of your possession. You may have let them into your home thinking they were offering you warmth only to be tricked. Um, illusion, a, a master manipulator, almost, yeah, very interesting. Almost magician, again, magician energy in a lower vibration. Someone who, who is hiding something from you, see how his magic wand is concealed? Somebody who had ulterior motives, and those ulterior motives may have been um, based in money, in, in finances. You, you may have been very well off and this person noticed that about you and that's what drew their eye. And yeah, it's, it's like the, the flame came and went. Ouch. Might be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries or a Leo. Again, very strong earth energy too. Someone who, and again, earth signs in a lower vibration, not all earth signs, love my earth signs. An earth sign in a lower vibration can be very materialistic, can focus on money and greed and finances, um, win, like almost winning at all costs regarding money and, and value and possessions in a lower vibration. And I, I am sensing for this person, yeah. They hit it and quit it. <laughs> Interesting. This just came through too. Good Lord, Taurus. This is this is quite a reading. This person may actually be a, I don't want to say sex worker because that's such a weird way of putting it, but this person may have done that in their past because this person capitalizes on their good looks, on their charms, on their, their natural ability to woo the crowd. This may be a person who actually is involved in some sort of... Um, like selling of their body. I don't know how they, and even if it's not selling their body for sex specifically, like, like a hooker or a pimp or whatever, 
it, this may be a metaphor of, of like they are an actor or they are in the model industry, something in the idea of they get paid to look good. And so it's almost fueling and pumping up their ego in a way where they're, they're, they're just like narcissistic or out of touch with reality because they have very crooked morals. They, they have no sense of other people's... They, they walk all over other people. It's their world and we're just living in it. They have no sense of values or ethics regarding other people and their possessions it's very selfish because they may constantly be around people who are catering to their ego. You know, oh, here, here's your meal, here's your paycheck, you know, here's this new clothes, here's a car, here's an invitation to all these parties, here's, here's drugs, here's all the alcohol you want, excess, excess. They are drawn to shiny new tokens because that is what they see as valuable possessions in their life. But again, it's hit it and quit it energy. The minute they get bored with the sports car, they sell it and, and they get another one. I don't even know if they sell, I don't even know if they care enough to sell it. They abandon things and move on to the next. Whew, Taurus, I'm sorry, this, this is brutal. The energy between you two, judgment, yeah. You're making a judgment call, a rebirth. This person almost killed you. This person put you through some sort of whatever this is took advantage of you in some way and it's like you're going something about you're going back to the past to save yourself you're you're needing to make peace with the past because for a lot of you I don't think there's going to be a reconciliation with this person and quite frankly I don't think either of you want it it doesn't seem like there's much there but it's almost like in order to fully embrace the new, to walk through this door, the world, the card that comes right before that is judgment. So I'm getting, it's like you're teetering between the two. You're almost ready to, to walk through that door, to leave everything behind. But yeah, it's like there's, there's just like this one final battle that I think, I do want to say emotionally, it is a Scorpio card. So emotionally, you need to release this. And it's not so much your love for this person. It's so that you're not holding on to that spiteful revenge energy. That, again, that need of need, or, I'm sorry, the desire to serve them um, some karmic justice, to let them taste their own medicine. There is that desire here. And again, this is saying find peace, find inner balance, listen to your intuition. It's not your job to do that. The universe will take care of this, okay? Save yourself. It's like this mother embracing the child. If Again, if something about taking away of innocence or purity, even if it wasn't like virginity, taking away, you may have come into this relationship, you know, with the best intentions and a very whole heart, but, you know, very sensitive and, and wanting a, a relationship and hoping for the best and yeah, it's like you got screwed over big time. This is like almost consoling yourself, recognizing that it wasn't your fault. This, this is a card of how could I be so stupid? How could I let this happen? Oh my God, my life is over. This is consoling yourself. Again, with King of Cups energy, loving yourself enough to recognize that you can sever ways with this. You can cut whoever you want out of your life. And again, restoring the balance. I was sensing very much Libra energy with this. Some of you may have strong Libra in your chart. Um, yeah, this person like set your world on, on fire, maybe in both, in both meanings of that, like they, uh, they, they lit, lit a fire, right? It was exciting and it was fun, but it, then it's like the idea of like, it, it turned in, into, it spread like wildfire. Your, your world was on fire, like emergency crisis, something it escalated. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. And that's sort of what I see in this card in the background. It looks like forest fires. It, it looks like something was burning and all these people had to exit their homes, right? Maybe this person really screwed up. Maybe there was they did some damage in your home. They left the stove on. They left the, and there was like an electrical fire or whatever. Something really bad and then they, they fled, they flew. You saved your, you, something about you saved yourself or you need to save yourself from this. You need to close out the cycle and make a very firm judgment call. I'm almost getting on what happened, on how you view this situation. 
instead of, and I no shade, Taurus, please don't take this personally, but instead of viewing yourself through the lens of victim mentality, the idea of how could this happen to me, I'm such a good person, poor me, yeah, this sucks. But staying in victim mentality is not for your highest good. It's not going to help you grow. Something about staying in that energy and letting it um, seep into your thoughts, it's going to block your energy and you're not going to be able to walk through this door. New abundance can't come to your life. It's, real, it's about releasing. Holding on to toxic energy, things of the past that have disappointed us, that have hurt us, we need to release them and let them go so that energetically the universe can, can bring things in and we have room to accept them. I hope that makes sense. The Fool, starting anew. This is all about the completion of cycles. You have the world and you have the Fool. And judgment, again, as I was saying, goes right into the world. Make that final judgment call. And, and again, it has to do with how emotionally you're going to put this behind you. How you're not constantly up at night thinking about that person who did you wrong, thinking thinking about that person who burned you, thinking of the, like the revenge plan you, you would love to have for them. It's not about that. It's about saving the inner child, saving the purity, the innocence. The way a child reacts when, when something scary happens, they're in shock. It, it isn't their immediate reaction to go in like with, with fists and, and fights and whatever. They, they withdraw. They're very, they're very sensitive to their environment. That's sort of what this is saying. Even with the Fool card zero, it's young, it's innocent, it's pure, it's fresh, it's clean, it's a new start, it's a blank slate. There's no emotional baggage here. There's no mental baggage. And how I was saying with this angel wings, it's time to fly away and love yourself. Yeah, it's time to fly away on your broom and find new people, find your tribe. I'm sorry, Taurus, but yeah, there's, there's not a lot of redeeming qualities about this person. If it's not your message, it's not your message. For a lot of you, I hope it's not your message because this isn't a pretty one, but someone out there needs to hear this. So I hope it's reinforcing what you already know. Chase your passions elsewhere. There's new doors and windows for you to walk through or, or that are guiding you towards the light, towards happier times. What is your guidance? The Six of Swords. Move on. You have learned all the lessons that you possibly can from this situation. And it may not seem like lessons. Again, I think some of you are struggling to wrap your brain around why this happened, and that's okay. That's a normal reaction. That will come with time. But what this is saying, if it's not physical movement, it's mentally moving on from this, from this storm, from this shit storm, from this lightning. That's sort of what I was getting at with like this person just like, it's like they lit a match and threw it on your carpet and your, apart and your apartment went up in flames symbolically that's what it was it's like you need to save yourself and get out of this storm if you're still with this person or around this person yeah move on move on especially mentally gemini libra aquarius it's an aquarius card also pictured on the world card you might have aquarius in your chart aquarius is the card of the fool you, yeah you have some pretty strong aquarian energy here all right Six of Swords is being clarified by the Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like you, this really knocked your confidence. This really knocked your ability to love freely, to, to be vulnerable and put yourself out there. Again, something about a child is really important here. This, ugh, this person may have gotten to you through your child. It's like they... Your child fell in love with them and liked to be around them, and so you, you let your barrier down, but then again, like they stole from you or took something. It was something about children. Is, it might might be relevant here for some of you. Or again, this, this could just stand for like the, the innocence of what was tarnished. You went in with a very pure, um, almost naive sensibility of what this relationship was, and you got burned. Page of Cups, extremely creative, as we can see here, right? Extremely creative and artistic and intuitive. Um, that's important. You know you're going to land on your feet again. Um, you will. And I think some of you are, are questioning it, but again, going within, high priestess, inner balance, intuitively knowing, even with the moon. You're going to be okay, but look, she's flying. She's moving on. Six of Swords. The moving on card 
something about you're in shadow right now. You're in a darker place. You're in a darker time. But the darkness of judgment, sorry, the darkness of judgment moves into that light that the world is offering you, closing out cycles and embracing the new. You need to get out of this darkness, like get on your broomstick, get in your car, go on a vacation, go visit family. Because it's like cycles with the moon, the moon will rise and then it will set. The sun will come out, but it's like you need to take the first action forward to get there. If you sit in a dark room and, and the, the curtains are pulled, the shades are pulled down, it's always going to be pretty dark in there, right? Even if the sun rises, it's still going to be dark if you're shutting yourself out. Something about this may be going to see your tribe, going to see your people, because they offer brightness, they offer light. Some of you, this was just a really bad relationship, and I'm almost getting, you may not have even told anybody about this because you're so embarrassed about, by what happened. How do I even explain to my parents how, you know, this guy I dated for two months just stole $5,000? Some, it's something like that, it's severe anxiety. It's time to move on to again embrace your inner child, forgive yourself if, if that's what's coming up here. Embrace yourself, love yourself. I know this is hard to hear, but appreciate the lessons you learned about trust, about overgiving, about extending, extending your love and even your home to people that maybe you don't really know or people who, who had malicious intent this opened your eyes to something. There's something about that with the moon. It illuminated something very dark. Wow, that's what this is. This situation, this person illuminated something to you that otherwise you never would have learned. It's one of those things you, boy, did you learn it the hard way, Taurus. My goodness, I'm sorry. I feel for you. Don't let it ruin your future. There's something very optimistic and innocent. Fool energy, starting anew. No emotional or mental baggage. Taking a leap of faith that things are going to be okay. Again, the universe is going to work this out for the both of you. This person has some, some rude awakenings coming, some, uh, some karmic justice to say the least, but so do you. It, on, like on the other side of the coin, the flip side of the coin, for all the nasty shit they did, that's what's coming. For the purity and the love and the trust that you extended, Universe is throwing that back at you. Universe is entrusting you with something really big, with something really amazing ahead. Desires and wishes, if you take action forward and again, recognize your value and your worth and that you deserve love and continue to chase your dreams and your passions, doors will open for you. That's what I'm getting here. Express yourself. Some of you creative endeavors is really going to help you not only focus your attention in a healthy manner, but it's going to be a healthy mechanism to cope with what happened and emotionally work through the feelings, particularly painting, drawing, making music, I don't know, singing, poetry, writing, whatever your skill or craft is. And even if it's just a hobby, it's probably not your work. That is, that is going to bring things to the surface, bring things to light that you didn't even know were in there. And yeah, there, there might be something about it that, um, that is very freeing with the world. It's going to help you close out any, any old baggage that you may have. Last thing I wanna say is, I, I couldn't help but notice this black cat, right? The reflection of a panther. I take this as, as two things. This person did not present themselves with clarity of who they are or what they wanted. They appeared to be a black cat, but they were a predator stalking their prey. And the, again, the flip side to that, this was, ugh, this is, wow. The flip side to that is that you appeared to be this innocent little victim, this cat that could just be, you know, I hate to say tossed out the window, st stepped on, um, abused, whatever you're the panther it's like the flip side of the coin you're much more strong and powerful than this person recognized and i will say that you recognize too the idea of illuminating secrets with the moon shedding light on the darkness an illusion what you see yourself as is not true you, again there's something it's like you have a world of potential that you haven't even tapped into yet 
That's why this high priestess is coming up with the Ace of Pentacles below it. Illumination to a new idea, a building block, a, a brick in the path of, of where your future is leading. There's something huge here, but you have to go off on your own and do it. Hermit mode, Virgo season. Do the work. Take the steps to get out of this and, and follow your passions and your desires. What inspires you? What motivates you? Go in that direction because good fortune awaits you. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. This was by far the heaviest reading I've done. Um, wow, I hope whoever needed to hear that did. Um, let me know in the comments below if it resonated. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you beautiful Tauruses next time. Bye, guys.